Income inequality is growing in the United States at an alarming rate. The top 1% now own more of this nation's wealth than the bottom 90% combined. Senator Sanders, when you introduced your wealth tax, which would tax the assets of the wealthiest Americans, you said, quoting you, Senator, billionaires should not exist. Is the goal of your plan to tax billionaires out of existence? When you have a half a million Americans sleeping out on the street today, when you have 87 people, 87 million people uninsured or underinsured, when you got hundreds of thousands of kids who cannot afford to go to college and millions struggling with the oppressive burden of student debt, and then you also have three people owning more wealth than the bottom half of American society, that is a moral and economic outrage. And the truth is, we cannot afford to continue this level of income and wealth inequality, and we cannot afford a billionaire class whose greed and corruption has been at war with the working families of this country for 45 years. So if you're asking me, do I think we should demand that the wealthy start paying the wealthiest, top one-tenth of one percent, start paying their fair share of taxes, so we can create a nation and a government that works for all of us. Yes, that's exactly what I believe. Thank you, Senator. <laughs> Mr. Steyer, you are the lone billionaire on this stage. Uh, What's your plan for closing the income gap? Well, first of all, let me say this. Senator Sanders is right. There have been 40 years where corporations have bought this government and those 40 years have meant a 40-year attack on the rights of working people and specifically on organized labor. And the results are as shameful as Senator Sanders says, both in terms of assets and in terms of income. It's absolutely wrong. It's absolutely undemocratic and unfair. I was one of the first people on this stage to propose a wealth tax. I would undo every Republican tax cut for rich people and major corporations. But there's something else going on here that is absolutely shameful, and that's the way the money gets split up in terms of earnings. As a result of taking away the rights of working people in organized labor, people haven't had a raise. 90% of Americans have not had a raise for 40 years. If you took the minimum wage from 1980 and just adjusted it for inflation, you get 11 bucks. It's seven and a quarter. If you included the productivity gains of American workers, it'd be over 20 bucks. There's something wrong here, and that is that the corporations have bought our government. Our government has failed. That's why I'm running for president, because we're not going to get any of the policies that everybody on this stage wants, health care, education, Green New Deal, Thank or a you, living Mr. wage, Sire. unless we break the power of these corporations. Thank you, Mr. Sire. Vice President Biden. You have warned against demonizing rich people. Do you believe that Senator Sanders and Senator Warren's wealth tax plans do that? No, look, I, demonizing wealth people, what I talked about is how you get things done. And the way to get things done is take a look at the tax code right now. The idea, we have to start rewarding work, not just wealth. I would eliminate the capital gains tax. That in, I, would, I would raise the capital gains tax to the highest rate of 39.5%. I would double it. Because guess what? Why in God's name should someone who's clipping coupons in the stock market make, in fact, pay a lower tax rate than someone who, in fact, is, uh, like I said, the, a school teacher and a firefighter? It's ridiculous. And they pay a lower tax. Secondly, the idea that we, in fact, engage in this notion that there are one point, there's one trillion $640 billion in tax loopholes. You can't justify a minimum $600 billion of that. We could eliminate it all. I could go into detail had I the time. Secondly, the th I mean, thirdly, what we need to do is we need to go out and make it clear to the American people that we are going to. We are going to raise taxes on the wealthy. We're going to reduce tax burdens on those who are not. And this is one of the reasons why these debates are kind of crazy, because everybody tries to squeeze everything into every answer that is given. The fact is, everybody's right about the fact that the fourth industrial revolution is costing jobs. It is. The fact is also corporate greed. If they're going back and not investing in their employees, they're reinvesting and buying back their stock. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. See, Thank you, Mr. Vice thing. President. 
<laughs> Senator Warren, your response. So I think this is about our values as a country. Show me your budget, show me your tax plans, and we'll know what your values are. And right now in America, the top one-tenth of one percent have so much wealth. Understand this, that if we put a two-cent tax on their 50 millionth and first dollar, and on every dollar after that, we would have enough money to provide universal child care for every baby in this country, age zero to five. Universal pre-K for every child. Raise the wages of every child care worker and preschool teacher in America. Provide for universal tuition-free college. Put $50 billion into historically black colleges and universities. Thank and you, cancel, Senator Warren. No, let me finish, please. And cancel student loan debt for 95% of the people who have it. My question is not why do Bernie and I support a wealth tax, it's why is it does everyone else on this stage think it is more important to protect billionaires than it is to invest in an entire generation of Americans? Thank you, Senator Warren. No one Mayor is supporting Buttigieg. billionaires. Mayor Buttigieg, your response. I'm all for a wealth tax. I'm all for just about everything that was just mentioned in these answers. Let me tell you, though, how this looks from the industrial Midwest where I live. Washington politicians, congressmen and senators, saying all the right things, offering the most elegant policy prescriptions, and nothing changes. I didn't even realize it was unusual to have empty factories that I would see out the windows of my dad's Chevy Cavalier when he drove me to school. I didn't know that wasn't every city until I went away to college. Now, I drive my own Chevy, it's a Chevy Cruze. Used to be built right in Lordstown, which is now one more symbol of the broken promises that this president has made to workers. But why did workers take a chance on this president in the first place? It's because it felt like nobody was willing to actually do anything. And while he's unquestionably made it dramatically worse, this is time to realize that we're paying attention to the wrong things. We're paying attention Thank you, to who sounded Thank better you, on a debate stage or Senator a committee Klobuchar. here Senator versus Klobuchar. what it's actually going to take to get Will a wealth tax, Will a wealth tax work? Um, it could work. I am open to it. But I want to give a reality check here to Elizabeth, because no one on this stage wants to protect billionaires. Not even the billionaire wants to protect billionaires. Uh, we just have different approaches. Your idea is not the only idea. And when I look at this, I think about Donald Trump, the guy that after that uh, tax bill passed, went to Mar-a-Lago, got together with his cronies, and said, guess what? You guys all got a lot richer. That was the one time in his presidency he told the truth. So we have different ways. I would repeal significant portions of that tax bill that helped the rich, including what he did with the corporate tax rate, including what he did on international taxation. You add it all up, you got a lot of money. That one helps pay for that child care, protects that dignity of work, make sure we have decent retirement, and make sure that our kids can go to Thank good you. schools. Sen it is not one Thank idea you, that Klobuchar. rules here. Senator Warren, please respond. So understand, taxing income is not going to get you where you need to be the way taxing wealth does. That the rich are not like you and me. The really, really billionaires are making their money off their accumulated wealth, and it just keeps growing. We need a wealth tax in order to make investments in the next generation. Look, I understand that this is hard, but I think as Democrats, we are going to succeed when we dream big and fight hard, not when we dream small and quit before we get started. Oh, I would like to respond to that. Senator Klobuchar, respond, you know, please. I, I think simply because you have different ideas doesn't mean you're fighting for regular people. I wouldn't even be up on this stage if it wasn't for unions and the dignity of work. If my grandpa didn't have unions protecting him in those mines, he wouldn't have survived. If my mom didn't have unions, that as a teacher, she wouldn't have been able to make the wages she made when my parents got divorced. So just because we have different ideas and get to the same place in terms of beating Donald Trump and taking this on, we are in Ohio. We can win Ohio in the presidency, but only if we unite, if we unite around a ideals and don't go fighting against each other and instead take the fight Thank to you, him. Thank you, Senator. 